Hello. In the previous video, we built a basic carousel without images. And in this video, I gave you a challenge that you have to build something like this, a carousel with actual images. Were you able to do that? If not, no worries. We'll do it together. But let me tell you, this is going to be very, very simple and this is going to be a short video. Uh, I know my videos are long, but this one's going to be short. Don't worry, because this is literally nothing. This is in this. We have to have the same code as Carousel Basic, but instead of showing the text, we have to show the image. That's it. Nothing else. So let's quickly jump onto it. So in the previous video, I already gave you the assets. I gave you the images. These images were taken from a website called pixum.photos. Uh, special thank to them. So I'm. Um, I really just took some random photos. So yeah, there's no logic behind these photos. Uh, I just took any of them. Okay, so let's get back to it. Let me quickly create a new component. I'll copy and paste this. I just copied this carousel basic and pasted it here. I'm going to rename a new file as carousel basic image. And I'm going to rename the ob component name as carousel basic image as well. Perfect. So now that we have it, Let's go back to our app component and inside our app component, let's actually pick up our carousel basic image. So in case it, it does not import automatically for you, you'll have to import it on your own. So no changes as of now because the carousel basic component is exactly the same. And now we are going to start making the changes. So first of all, I'm going to import all these five image files. So I'm going to do it very quickly. Jump onto it along with me, press Alt and move the cursor five times. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do import image one from dot slash dot dot slash assets slash image one dot JPG. Perfect. And let's quickly change the names. It's going to be two, three, four, five. And actually there's no sixth one. Cool. And now I'm going to change it to five four okay what happened yeah three and two that's it and now i'm going to define an array slides equal to image one image two image three i hope there's some faster way to do it but i don't know so it's okay and i'm going to pass it here slides equal to slides actually slides equal to slides Perfect. And now you're going to see it started displaying the path, the relative path of the image as expected. And now instead of actually displaying this path, we are actually going to display the image itself. That's it. That's very simple. So let's jump onto it. Let's clean up the code a little bit. First thing is we don't really need these slides anymore. We don't need a, a closing tag. We'll have a self and closing tag now. And what we are going to do is not only we are going to just use only use these styles, we are going to have some other styles as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destructure this styles object to put these styles first, these opacity and display. And after that, I'm going to put a width of, let's say, 100 percent. I'm going to put a height of 100 percent once again, although this is not going to work because this the slides itself has no height right now. So even if I put 100%, it's I don't think it's going to do anything. And I'm going to put a background. OK, sorry, background image of URL. Let's actually use the backtick URL. And I'm going to use the string uh, template to define, to insert our variable. It's going to be slides of index. Perfect. And as you see, th things changed, but nothing really happened. It does not show anything here. And that is because even though we have decided 100% width and 100% height, the current height of this div is zero because it's, there's nothing inside it. So 100% into zero is zero. Like zero multiplied by anything is still zero. So now let's let's set up some styles. Carousel basic. Uh, let's go there and let's set up some styles. So I'm going to define my styles inside style uh, slides. I'm going to define a min width of let's say 100% same because then it's going to take the 100% of the uh, container min height. Let's define it as 200 pixel for now. You can change it on your own, whatever you like. And that's it. Let's uh, yeah, let's see what happens. OK, so it uh, kind of ran outside the container, so 
you can change it. You can actually move it to 80% or something. It, it's up to you. I'm not going to spend too much time into it, right? Because we are actually going to play a lot with styles anyhow in the next section. So I'm not going to waste any time in the styles. So it worked. And now one thing, last thing that I can do here is I can actually have some, let's say, let's say carousal button styles. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is quickly fix this height. I'm going to define a carousal button div. Inside that, I'm going to place my buttons, both of the buttons. That's it. And that's it. So basically, I enclose these buttons inside a div. And let's provide some display flex. Again, uh, flex direction is going to be column this time and justify content center. That's it. Now this is going to fix it. So you have your own carousal component ready with you. That's it. I hope you had fun. In the next section, finally, 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 we are going to start building our main app. I hope you're excited, although that will not take a lot of time because now we already have all of our basic components in place. So it's going to be super fun. Let's start that in the next section. See you. See you soon. Bye bye.